This is Rockerbert. Uh, our first team over here, the Stationers team. Congratulations, Stationers! You're all on camera. Uh, it's like a nerdy Minecraft. Dylan, would you describe it as a nerdy Minecraft? Nerdier. Nerdier. Minecraft. I like it. Um, Nerdiest uh, Minecraft. Um, this is Torpedia, which is like a, what? How do we describe it now? RimWorld mixed with faster than light, maybe a little bit. So you got a little submarine that you pilot around, um, control the crew, maybe move your submarine. Um, you like dive and go around and do all sorts of cool stuff. Very RimWorld-esque feel to it. Um, uh, Peter and Peter, um, so they're working on stationers. So we're getting some cool loading screens to go in the game for our nerdier Minecraft. This is where our admin team work, but they're at lunch. They're the only ones we have there, like, blinds open. J-Rod, our IT director. Yeah. Hello. Who also got second in the national beer competition. So, and you can see why. Look, second in the national beer competition. This is our union team. Hi, union team. This is all union, as far as your eye can see. See that dark area symbol. I can't remember, it's been a long time since I watched The Lion King. Did I pretty much, I nailed that. Sure, close enough. More union. Our artist. Uh, tucked away in this corner. Hi everybody. And down this end is like the first bot we got as a studio. We actually only had a quarter of this floor initially. Pull that audio director doing all your stuff. And this is this is actually where we started. So yeah, this is where we started for for start with the studio. We only had this, and I think we had like six people in here. I think my desk was here actually. Um, which is why we got we got the internet put in and school right beside it. Um, and I guess we're making music here at the moment. I didn't even know that we were doing that, so. I'm in Dunedin. It's really funny. Some, some guys in the back of my picture. We're here down in Dunedin, and it's been kind of a, an interesting reflection for us. So after making DayZ, I really realized that I wanted to look at how we were making games, because I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied at all with how DayZ standalone went, and, and how uh, I managed the development of it, and how we were making the game. So setting up this year here in Dunedin was really about looking at how we make games. And we made small games and we kind of went back to the drawing board about how we were going to make these small games and the actual creative process that we wanted to do you know we're sitting in a meeting room now which is which is really where we spend most of our time a lot of people think that making video games is a lot about sitting at a computer coding but it really isn't anymore a lot of it is about sitting down collaborating discussing with people and, and figuring things out the computer does a lot of the heavy lifting for you so getting that process right um, we started working on our first big game, which isn't out yet, here in Dunedin. And that really was a chance for us to put in place the process. And we had a lot of failures along the way in terms of trying to get started with those big projects. But we finally really got a process working that actually felt good and felt comfortable and awesome. So then it was kind of like, what do we want to do? And I remember when we first demoed DayZ, the standalone, at Cologne in Germany at Gamescom. This is a long time ago. And I realized that I'd screwed up. And I, I did this thought experiment by removing the things I didn't like in, in, the, in the standalone as to what that would be. And, and I came up with this idea. And I think I just sat on the idea for a long time and it was in, it was on a plane flying back from Auckland a, a month or so ago and I just had this epiphany about uh, a problem I'd had with the design and development of the game and the solution just kind of came to me in the middle of the flight um, while I was watching a movie and I just started writing on my iPad and I wrote for hours uh, well an hour or whatever until the plane landed and then I got off the plane 
went to the car, sat in the car, and it was very cold. I sat in the car for like two hours until the battery started getting annoyed at me in the car um, about trying to keep the car warm. And, and that kind of spurred on a process to look at what, what we do. And we didn't want to disrupt the way things were going here in Dunedin. So we actually looked um, towards, let's, let's sort of step things up and, and, and move things up a notch. And the, the natural place to go was Auckland. That's really what this trip is about. Uh, we've started the steps in motion to expand the studio and grow it, which is kind of scary for me uh, because really this is the first time that I won't cut code ever. You know, I'm always usually very heavily involved technically in the projects. And this really now means we've got two sites, two major projects with, with other smaller ones. It's a lot of people. Uh, my role splits into like five different jobs and it all becomes very serious. Yeah, so this is kind of the start of that whole process. And, and I guess this is why we wanted to sort of try and return to that really open style of social media that we had with DayZ. And I think we didn't capitalize on it. We did a few dev blogs and they were, they were fun but I think we didn't really push into it. And I think this is a bit of an experiment uh, for me and, and for the studio as well about, well, can we do that? Can we, can we, we start a triple A studio in, in Auckland, you know, I'd, I'd describe here as sort of double A and, and document it all and, and, and sort of show what happens as we go through that process. And yeah, so, you know, we've, we've basically got, I think one um, full-time employee so far in Auckland, a couple of contractors and, and you know we, we brought them down here to Dunedin to see what is going on here try and assimilate some of the culture and yeah start looking at the steps that we need to do to, to really push things forward So uh, heading back to Auckland early, um, didn't need to do a lot of the meetings, thought we may as well get back, although we are going to hit the traffic. Um, I was smart and parked the Aventador. Um, ben not so much, he drove so he doesn't get to go on it. Uh, but yeah, very successful trip. We'll be back down again next week. This week, uh, when we get back, I guess the, the big thing is tomorrow is to start closing out the deal and start getting the studio set up.